What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you another video. Today's video is going to be about returning from methods. So the methods we have seen so far output the result. In some cases we do not uh, need to output the result but need to assign it to a variable to work with it in our program. In these cases we need to return our method to return the result value. So the return type, okay, so consider a method from our previous lesson that was used to output a percentage of the given value. The void keyword in the definition specifies the method does not return any value. So the void uh, keyword essentially says you don't have to return anything, you can just print and be okay. So, yeah, I didn't just went over this so which of the following specifies from a method speci specifies that a method does not return any value it's void um, and then here's the same function definition uh, specifying the return type as a double so this now returns a double so this means that our perk method will return a value of type double so what is the return type of the following method? So static string. So it's gonna obviously return a string because that's what it's after the method. It's after the static keyword and then it's before the method name. So that's the return type. And then now we can return our result using the return keyword. So static double perk, uh, give the rest of the code here. The return keyword stops the method from executing. If there are any statements after the return, they won't run. So if you had something after the return, let's say double res equals one, that wouldn't matter because uh, after you return the uh, method, you can't do anything inside of it. So returning a value. After we created our method that returns a value, we can call it in our own code, in our own code and assign it to the result, assign the result to a variable. So returning is useful when you don't need to print the result of the method, uh, but need to use it in your code. For example, a bank account's withdrawal method could return the remaining balance um and you don't need to print it you just need the balance so fill in the blanks to create a method that takes two integers and returns their sum then call it in main okay so static uh it returns their sum meaning you have an integer right yep and then comma here you have to use the return keyword and then the name which is sum <clears throat> and that should work yep there we go let's create a method that takes two parameters a string name and a grade of type integer so the name is a string and the grade is an integer checks if the grade is over 70 and returns a boolean result then let's use it in main so you can see that uh, the method's name is uh, uh, check and it returns a boolean value. So basically, if it's if the grade is greater than seventy, it's true you passed. If it's less than seventy, it returns false you failed. So if whatever x is, so in this case it's eighty nine. So if if the x here, you can cross check it with here which is true so it's going to return congrats as you can see we can we can use the method in an if statement because it returns a boolean value so the method can be used anywhere in our program to check if the grade is passing or not in case anything changes in that logic of the check we will need to modify the method only without touching the rest of the program so we can so mm -hmm. When we're coding, we don't have to touch any of this. We can just modify this method and it'll reflect on this automatically. So that's the uh, real advantage of making your uh, code modular. 
And the lesson takeaways are going to be to use the return statement to return a value from your method. The method needs to have its uh, return type specified before its name. And then the returned value can be assigned to a variable when calling the method. So the practice problem is going to be Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, you're making a Celsius to Fahrenheit converter. Write a method to take the Celsius value as an argument and return the corresponding Fahrenheit value. All right, so if we have a sample of 38, or 36 and we output 30 96.8 the given code takes the self celsius value as input and passes it to the far the fair 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 method which you need to create so the following equation is used to calculate fahrenheit so it's 1.8 times celsius plus 32 okay so Essentially, we just need to create the um, the far method. I don't know why they called it far, but it's far. So, so let's create so static static, and it's gonna return, I believe, a double right static double far, and then. We have the method, so it's gonna take in a believe. It can take in a double, right? I believe it just takes in a double, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's double cell, it's short for Celsius, of course. And then we can have it uh, cell, or we can have it like. Uh, return 1.8 times cell time plus 32 my bad plus 32 and let's see if this works perfect so what I basically did here was I created the method which is um, so a trick I found was I would always forget like how to do the like how to write a method so what I did was basically copy the main statement so so you can put a public but I I usually just leave the public out but you can just call it like um, static and then the return and then the name of the method and then the parameter so that's basically um, how to reference it and then I just return the calculation instead of putting it into a variable you can just return it like this and it'll do the exact same thing so fill in the blanks to create a method called check age which returns true in case age parameter is greater than 18 okay so we know this is true we know this is return if right here and then static um boolean because it's returning either true or false perfect so that is gonna end it thank you guys so much for watching please if you could comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one